Welcome to my little cooking video for students. I myself am a student. I do live at home with my parents, so that does actually mean my parents cook for me every night. But they are away at the moment, which means I have to fend and survive, and I've yet to call Childline. I'm not starving because I've got this book. My mum bought me this book. The Student Cookbook, which has been my little Bible. So today, you're probably thinking, what are we making? We are going to make some macaroni and cheese. I've got dogs walking around my feet. Jamie Oliver doesn't have to put up with this, does he? All the ingredients you actually need for this are, well, you need macaroni, but I forgot to get macaroni. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. Yep, I haven't got macaroni, but I've got fusilli, fusilli, that one, the spirally one. I've got spirals. It's also wholemeal, so it's healthy. Forgetting the macaroni is it's pretty much 50% of the meal. I may have ruined it already before I even started. Didn't think it through. Cheese! You need cheese. And I've got cheddar cheese. British cheddar as well. I've got to save the queen. Milk, butter, and some flour. Now what we basically need to do first is get your cheese and a grater. And I bet you can guess what's coming next. We're gonna grate the cheese, but before that, you need some grating music. I don't know what music's gonna play, just whatever it is. Mm. Luther Van Dross to grate my cheese. Back when I was a child, before life removed, I danced with my mother and me and then would run from her. So once you've grated your cheese to Luther Van Dross, you should have about 175 grams of cheese if you're going to be exact on your measurements. So now once you've done that, you need to cook the pasta. Let's go to the oven. Get a sauce out. Fucking escalibur this. Now for this part, basically, you're going to follow whatever it says on the package. Um, cook this pasta. It's 10 to 12 minutes. 10 minutes. Now you just have to wait until this is boiled. Until then, we just play some boiling music. Now I'm not trying to be rude, but hey pretty girl, I'm feeling you. Now while I wait for my pasta to cook, I tend to like join pictures of Morgan Freeman. I'm Morgan Freeman. Now that this is boiled and it's cooked, we need to take it over and we need to drain it. Ah, ow! You want to open up your pores a little bit of the steam? So now we actually need to make the cheese sauce to go with the, not macaroni, but macaroni and cheese. So first, you get the saucepan again. I'm just using exactly the same saucepan. Washing up twice. And my dog is just shat on the floor. He's just pooed on the floor. Now once you've cleaned up the shit from the floor, sanitised it and washed your hands, you can carry on cooking. So you're going to add your 50 grams of butter. Make sure it doesn't burn as well. Make sure the heat is low, it seems to be too hot. Then we're going to add our 50 grams of flour. Add that in. Oh, my hands. Oh fuck, I've got to clean it up. Keep stirring it. Then we're going to add our milk. You know, not too much at a time, just gradually adding milk. You can see the sauce is just starting to change consistency. Then you can add milk. I'm going to add the rest of this milk in now. But you think it's going to get a bit too runny. A little bit runny. I'm just going to add a bit, tiny bit more pinch of flour. All my milk's added. I'm going to up the heat just a little bit. We're going to bring this to the boil. Make yourself feel a bit more of a professional like Gordon Ramsay. Basically what you need to add into this right now is a couple of fucks, okay? So you just go, fuck! Fucking cheese sauce! Fucking sauce! This sauce right now is as hot as the devil's urine. Bollocks! Now once you've added the appropriate amount of swear words, again, there's no real measurement for the amount of swear words you can use. Add it till you're done. I think a couple of fucks and a couple of bollocks here and there are okay. You haven't got to go any bored with it. As you can see, Starting to boil, you just add, add in the pasta. There we go, now that's all in. Of course, I know what you're thinking, you're screaming, this is macaroni and cheese. 
You ain't even got macaroni, where's the cheese? Just add the cheese into the sauce. So what I'm going to do now, as it looks done to me, I'm going to get a dish. Just get an oven proof dish. Grab some extra cheese, sprinkle it. Then, stick this in the grill. Grill. So after all that hard work, the cheese grating, the dog shitting, and all that stuff, you should hopefully be left with something similar to this, if not better, hopefully. And there you have it. Macaroni and cheese, easy done for a student.